Hello everyone, in this short video, I'm going to share with you how to do calibration in a fuzzy set uh, qualitative comparative analysis or FSQCA and I will show you also how to construct the truth table. Now let me get the file um, from FSQCA package. So um, okay, let's let Let's start. Uh, uh, this is a uh, test data that I have. So this data were taken from a five point uh, Likert scale uh, online survey. So let's say I want to use uh, FSQCA um, to come to to analyze um, in terms of the conditions and the outcome. So the outcome in this analysis would be employees performance or EPERF. And the conditions here I have three conditions. Um, e-training, work motivation, work-life balance. So these are five-point liquid scales, so I need to calibrate them, I need to convert them into a, a fuzzy set. So what I need to do uh, before I start actually, I need to um, calculate for each um, of these conditions and outcome um, the the highest, the maximum score, the minimum score, as well as, well as the mean score uh, for each of these uh, variables. So let's start with, okay, let's, let us start the process of calibration. Um, the statistical pack, the, the FSQCA package here has already set the, tr the three uh, threshold, the 0 0.95, 0 0.5, and 0 0.05. So it's actually uh, pretty easy. It's fixed at the three levels. So what we need is to compute and you need to create new variable. Um, I'll start with e-training. I'll put as one so that I know this is the uh, fuzzy set. And I click calibrate and I click e-training. Okay, N1, N2, N3. Um, it will be the biggest, the mean and the lowest. So I need to take out my uh, here. So for e-training, the highest score is 4.8. So then the first number here is 4.8. Second number, which is the mean, 3.578. 3.578. And the lowest number is 2.08. So it's 2.08. All right, check again the highest, the mean score, and the lowest. Okay, it is correct. So I click OK, and my fuzzy set is out. Uh, you have E uh, training one. Okay, then I have to repeat the process for the other. Uh, conditions, uh, work motivation, I just use WM1, for example, uh, calibrate, uh, work motivation, um, the highest number for work motivation is 5, 3907, so 5, Three point nine oh seven, and the lowest is two point six seven. Two point six seven. Okay, so it's done. Okay, okay. So we're gonna have a look. See this calibrated number. Okay. Let's continue with work-life balance. Work-life balance, I put one so that um, you won't duplicate. Work-life balance, calibrate. Work-life balance, again, look for the highest number. Work-life balance, five, three, five, four, six, five, three, five, four, six. And the lowest score is 2.25. Okay. 2.25. All right. So, okay, done. I click OK. So, my fuzzy set for uh, what I balance done. 
So last one is employees performance. E P E R S is quite one. Calibrate employees performance. Highest score four six seven. Four six seven. Uh, mean score three seven o nine. 3709 and the lowest 292 292 okay so done so okay so you can see here okay um this is the, uh, the computation all right so it is done so we have calibrated our data set so the view, our e, uh, e training one, work motivation one, work life balance one, employee performance one. Okay. So as you can see, if you glance through all these numbers here, you should not have any number that is more than one and less than zero. Okay. So uh, that is your uh, fuzzy set data. So now um, let's look at how to produce a truth table. So you go to analyze truth table algorithm. Um, step here is the outcome. So the outcome is employee's performance. So that's outcome, and your conditions is e training, work motivation one, work life balance one. Okay, show solutions, cases, and input. All right, so I'll show all the cases here so that you can refer to which case. And I click OK. All right. So, oh, well, this is not the, the end, the, this is not complete yet, all right? So, as you can see, you have your truth table, but something is missing, okay? The outcome is missing. So, what you need to do is go to edit, delete, and code. So, delete row with, uh, with number less than one, so leave it as one. Um, the threshold is 0.8 is by default, but of course, um, for sensitivity, sensitivity analysis, you can actually try 0 0.9 and see how the outcome will be different. But uh, for our illustration purpose, we just leave it as 0.8, right? So click OK. Ta-da! Then your truth table is completed. So you have um, e-training, motivation, uh, no work-life balance, but can give rise to employee's performance. So these are the conditions, the three conditions, and the outcome. So you can actually analyze them one by one. Uh, what are the conditions that are necessary and sufficient for an outcome? Okay. So to do more analysis, you can go to a stat analysis, uh, and you can click OK. All right. And well, something happens uh, at the back here, right? So you can also go to standard analysis. Um, should contribute to e performance one when when cost uh, is right. So we want to, if let's say uh, based on literature, based on your theory, these three are essential conditions uh, for the outcome. So you should click present, 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 and click OK. Right. Of course, you don't see anything change here, but behind this, you see all the computation that the uh, FSQCA package has done here, all right? Um, you have the uh, solution, truth table solution, uh, different combination, and you have the uh, complex solution, and uh, what else? You have your parsimonious uh, solution, okay? Everything is here, intermediate solution, they're all here, so you have to interpret them one by one. All right, so um, yep, that's all I have for all of you. And that is how um, you can calibrate your data set using a five point Likert scale. You can use the same principles as well if your survey is seven point or nine point Likert scale or even four point Likert scale, the principles are the same, all right? And um, compute a truth table and do some analysis. Have fun. I'll see you in my next video.